you can see. Man, we hit them from all the way down here. <laughs> Hell yeah, look at this. Oh, we're still hitting. And again, like, we don't even have the max size, dude. It's blue, it's not red anywhere. Here we go. Upheaval Barbarian. With max range. Where does this guy not take me? I need something to make a target vulnerable, I guess. Okay, this is the new upheaval barbarian, man. Max range. It covers the entire screen! I also have some pretty insane attack speed. Doesn't feel so clunky anymore, but no Hellhammer right now. Yes! I'm playing um, additive range damage area and we have the upheaval size now. Bam, bam. You would like, I think? It hits the enemies off screen. I don't even see where they are. So it's, uh... <laughs> don't even see where these go. They, they spit out so many hits here. Thanks, monster kills. And how many legendaries this drops? It's... Just pretty cool. The alpha just rocks. Uh, perma fortify, perma full fury. Like, I think you gotta try hard to miss the monsters with this upheaval. With this amount of radius, and it's still super strong. Ranged barbarian build. This is glorious. Oh no, Conduit Troy. The Shrine of the Nerves. Actually, for this, it's kind of okay. We have no Shrine duration. Oh yeah, we basically stack upheaval size one, two, three, four times. And you can still get more size. You see, yeah, we got double crit, one crit. And you can have three crits. And it already covers more than your screen. You see, like these monsters, they just die off screen. here like just shoot all the way up there boom, boom. Yeah, that's so cool upheaval radius i think when we hit elites i also have like an insane amount of um of a power but here the elites die too fast to figure it out I got all the attack speed stuff on uh, on my upheaval now as well. Because else it fits correctly, but this one is like actually fast now, you see? You can do a couple with Hellhammer, but we lose a lot of radius with Hellhammer. I mean, it's still good. This Hellhammer has six ranks to upheaval, but the problem is you lose the size, yes, on one item. It also looks like the burn radius does not increase. These guys die off screen. But the burn radius does not increase. The radius is still big, it just doesn't show. Protection. But yeah, without Hellhammer, it's even cooler. This will bring it. Nice visual bug. Yeah, I mean, it does work, right? 
But yeah, upheaval bar, my friends. So you can do quadruple size. I like it. There's so many cool bar builds this patch you can do. Can we see you in the... Okay, we just blasted these, man. And we keep getting ambushes. Can we actually see uh, when I go into the training grounds? I think here you can see it best. Here you can see. Man, we hit them from all the way down here. Hell yeah, look at this. Oh, we're still hitting. And again, like, we don't even have the max size, dude. It's blue, it's not red anywhere. Look at this. What you're seeing now is my normal state. Dude, upheaval for the win, man. Every hit's overpower. Let's get it. Indefinite Lu Fury. This isn't even the final form. It gets pretty close though. This is a pretty cool form already. Chop, chop, chop. Dude, like we just like this is why we need distant damage, guys. Don't get fooled playing close with this build. You need distant. Distant for the win. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll go over the setup. <laughs> every hit over power, every blast. Okay, so obviously we're rocking quadruple over power, and then we are uh, quadruple upheaval size. So this is, like you can get a hundred, a hundred. And at least another like, I don't know, 60 or something. And more, I mean, I already have 60. So you can get like about, let's say you can get about 300% of upheaval size, I think. Like all in total. And right now I have like 200. So you can get 100%, 50% more size basically in total. It's gonna be wild. Then we are rocking... Um, Whenever we generate Fury, we get a um, 1.6 multiplier. We have standstill, more DPS. We have upheaval over powers. And I also stack a lot of attack speed. You have big attack speed rolls uh, on these items now. And you can get even more than I have right now. And so upheaval doesn't feel as clunky as yes? like it actually, you know, with all these rolls, it can actually feel kind of smooth. Like if you just like, keep upheavaling, basically. Oh yeah, no grandfather here i mean i have a grandfather but i'm not playing it right now more people size accelerating for the speed starless sky this can also be mother's embrace or something else we have unrelenting i think the fury is not an issue anyways like it's always full it always gets full from the unrelenting we see actually we removed the starless sky i think our fury is still fine yeah look not even using any war cries our fury is still okay yeah starless sky is good for damage uh, edge master here because we always have full fury so good DPS. Uh, this one is the Unrelenting Voracious Rages has been renamed. Just more regeneration. Pretty cool. Movement speed here, 200%. Type its will. You have elements, it's another multiplier. You can also play um, where you get Berserking when you attack with a core skill. And then, um, yeah, here there should be Juggernaut, but you know, that doesn't really matter like what your armor is. With Juggernaut, you have um, 17,000 armor. And then Numbing Wrath here for the Fortified Gen. It's not really like optimize this build, but it's pretty fun. Clear all. So this is the skill tree. Upheaval, max of course. And you can choose either rune. I just chose the berserking rune, so it's easy to keep berserking with your key passive. Pretty cool stuff. Then we have triple shout and some defensive stuff. Shout support, movement speed, berserking, leap to just get around. Yeah, pit fighter here. This could probably be replaced, but distant damage reduction is still nice. And on bosses, you can go on top still if you want. Uh, counter offensive for the fortify multiplier. Um, we attack with a maze, so wall up. And yeah, some healing here and constraint. Um, so yeah, maze is assigned to here to the upheaval. And that's pretty cool. Paragon point is not really like completely optimized. I still have the fury stuff in here, but yeah, exploit. Uh, Wrath is really good. Crusher works. Might. 
Ari, you can also play Dominate if you want. It would be a lot better. So we probably could play Dominate here with all the willpowers getting, you know, the Decimator board and then, you know, put Ira here and put Crusher like up here or down, there, or down here. It would be a bit better. Like just sign up all power scaling. But I don't know. I mean, it still does like very decent damage, I think. So a couple million per hit. It works. It's fun. And it's upheaval with some real size, boys. Some real size. Actually, it looks pretty insane. Like, you're hitting downwards, man. And you're basically hitting half the screen, man. It's so good. You can even get more ranks. I mean, like, you can like, scale this a lot higher, that's for sure. It's gonna take some time. But yeah, it's fun, and you're not missing stuff. Hellham also works. Hope you enjoyed, my friends. There's so many options. We do hold on next. Let's go. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.